Hey guys, Richard Oki here, and in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through setting up your ad images for your ClickBank native ad campaigns. All right, so I am currently in our ClickBank account, and I, am, I wanna look for an offer that we can run for this campaign, all right? So let me take a look. So as you can see, you know, we're still making some money on this campaign. The day is still young right now, um, already on $74. Um, yesterday, $500 was made. Um, but yeah, this stuff works. So I'm going to walk you through how we, you know, how we essentially get the ad creators and go through that process with you and what sort of ad creators you need to be looking for to have success with, you know, your ClickBank um, and your native campaigns. All right. And not necessarily native, but really these ad images can work in any traffic source that allow them. So let me head over to Marketplace and let's find an offer. So I want to have a, a health offer for this example. I think it's quite easy for me to just go through it and I know that a lot of you guys uh, currently run health and it's kind of like the go-to vertical I would say so let me put diabetes I know that's a trending sort of thing in CP I've seen that in a few other networks all right so we have quite a lot of diabetes as sus suspected um, but let's look for the best offer so I'm going to uh, sort results by gravity. So what gravity means is how the ClickBank is essentially so is the offers are doing the best in terms of like both um, revenue and number of affiliates running the particular offer. So let's take a look. All right. So how key diabetes. All right. Let's have a look at this offer page. And I'm assuming that it's a VSL, so a video lander. Yep. So simple 60 second habit that reversed my wife's diabetes, the wife's type two diabetes and melted, melted 56 pounds of fat. Wow, all right, so if this works, then it's, it's a miracle cure. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we're gonna use this offer. Um, I just can't be bothered to look through any other offers to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but it's a good offer anyway. So it's $30 average sale. Uh, rebuild total $138 so that means that this is a fairly a high ticket offer um, so let's see the sort of ad images that we can run for this so here's a hint guys when it comes to diabetes the images that tend to do well tend to be like eggs <laughs> eggs so eggs are known to be very good uh, you know a very good food to eat if you're on diabetes and um, you know if you actually do any spying you're gonna see a lot of ads that have eggs for diabetes so I'm not I know I sound crazy right now but I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about so I've got some ad images already prepared um, in the health niche but let's look for these egg images for um, diabetes so let me do a quick search so the searches are gonna sound a bit weird I'm sorry about that guys egg smiling <laughs> but we're looking for images that um, you know have a shock factor and I don't want an egg like this I want an egg that is in like a frying pan or it's a cooked egg or something like that um, so maybe not cooked, maybe not egg smiling maybe that's a bit too cartoony uh, let me do something else let's have a look so a lot of you guys are thinking egg smiling making all this money and they're searching like this. Are these guys for real? Um, yeah, this is 100% serious. So let's take a look. Okay, these are all stock images, so not really feeling this. And I don't like this guy, Jamie Oliver. If you're from the UK, he messed up our, uh, our school meals. Um, you know, he took away all the chocolates. So in the UK, you know, we don't really like that guy too much. <laughs> All right, so none of these images really fit the bill. All right, so what you're looking for are images that um, of just like an egg, but it's like maybe like there's a few eggs, they're cut in half. Uh, this is okay, but it's too neat. This is too neat. Um, this is all right as well. So like an egg that looks like it's dripping because the, the ad copy will say something about melting fat. So when the egg is dripping, like the yolk is dripping out of the egg, that kind of, 
goes to the brain and the brain kind of thinks, the crop brain kind of thinks that, okay, the melting of the yolk represents the melting of their fat, all right? I know that sounds weird, but if you do any research on native ads, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. And for that, those guys that know how to run native, you know exactly what I'm talking about, so it's not weird at all. But if you don't, then I probably sound crazy right now. All right, so let's look for some some of these images. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. I'm not really feeling any of these. I may have to switch up the search term. What would I search? Egg, egg yolk. That's what it's called, right? Egg yolk. Not egg yolk smiling. Egg yolk dripping. Hopefully this stays PG. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. This is this is probably the best image I've seen so far. I would say. Not saying that this is the best image. Like you should run this, but this gives you an indication of some of the images that can do well. Or like an egg in a spoon, you know, this is just weird stuff that, that do well in this particular uh, vertical and through this traffic source as well. So this is this has potential, I must say. This has potential. It's a bit too blurry though, that's the only thing. So I'm not gonna use that. Okay. Do, do, do. And if you have the budget, this is the cheap way of doing things. If you have a budget, use a spy tool. You will just swipe hella images. But right now, I'm assuming you don't have budget and you just want to get things. You want to basically put your money into traffic. All right. So you're going to go down the cheap route. This is the cheap route going on Google. But if you're a hustler, you're going to do whatever it takes to make money. So there's no shame in doing what I'm doing right now whatsoever. Because as long as the outcome is income, then we are all good. <laughs> all right, so, so far, I'm not feeling any of the images. Um, it's quite difficult just using this as a, as a method, all right? So I may have to pull up, I may have to cheat and pull up my uh, Adplexity account and show you guys some real stuff, all right? But for now, we're gonna keep doing this, all right? So, uh, boiled egg. Okay, all right. So, strangely enough, an image like this right here, this one right here, could actually do well, all right? So I'm gonna actually save this image. So I'm gonna save this one. Actually, let me make a folder for that. Do, 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 do. Uh, what are we doing? Diabetes and images. Okay, I'm just gonna save it in there. I've already saved it, but I'm too lazy to drag it. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Jammy eggs. Okay, I think that might be a good search term. Let's put jammy eggs. I just seen an egg dripping, and it said jammy eggs. So I'm gonna run with it, jammy eggs. Let's see what happens. All right, these are the type of eggs that we want. These like, they look like, they just evidently look quite juicy. And they're, you know, they're, they're very eye-catching eggs. If you can ever say an egg is eye-catching, you could, you know, in this case, I could say egg is eye-catching. Um, so these are too professional right now. So what I'm gonna do, just to shortcut this process a little bit, um, is I'm going to show you an example from uh, that I found on Plexity. So I've got some, I've got quite a lot of images for these type of offers. I'm just going to show you one, and we're going to try and find a similar ad um, on Google as well, because not everybody has access to Plexity, and I understand that. All right, I completely get it. So, cool. All right, yo. Open that up. All right. So here is an image that is doing pretty decent um, at the moment. There are a lot of affiliates running an image like this, and you might be thinking, you know, what is it? What is it about this image that is 
that is doing well? Why would this image be doing well? Like, what is it here? And if you're completely new to this process, I can understand why you'd be thinking that. Um, however, the reason why this image will be doing well is because um, the, it's not just the image, all right? You're combining that image with the ad copy, okay? Because when, you, when it comes to diabetes, watch, let me mute my computer. When it comes to diabetes, um, the images that tend to do well, as I said before, are images of eggs. And the reason for that is because a lot of, uh, uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you do a bit of research on diabetes and just put diabetes egg, you'll, re you'll find out a lot of um, health research and health studies recommend that uh, eggs as a food of choice for somebody on diabetes. So if somebody actually is on diabetes, they will resonate with eggs quite a lot because it's probably something that's a heavy part of their diet. So when you're seeing all these eggs for these diabetes ads and you're like, what the hell, why are these, why are these being run? It's because if you're actually, uh, you, you know, if you've got the, the diabetes, right, if you're a diabetic, then you have to eat eggs pretty much. Like, I don't know if you have to, but you probably are eating eggs. So when you see it, you know, images of eggs and maybe they look juicy or like there's something curious about egg, and you read the copy about, you know, this trick to like, um, you know, remove diabetes or whatever the offer is, then... It just syncs up very well, all right? So for these type of offers, this is why you're looking for eggs. So that gives you a bit of background in terms of, you know, this, because it does seem random if you don't know about that, you know, that bit of knowledge, all right? So let's look for some more images. I've got a funny image that I want to show you, but I want to see if I can find it on Google, all right? So let's, so this is, this is an example of one. So I'm going to put... Uh, Let's put funny jammy eggs. I don't think we'll find any funny jammy eggs, but we may find some funny um, sunny side up eggs. That's what we call it in the UK. I'll show you what that is in a bit. Nope. These eggs are not funny at all. They are not funny whatsoever. All right, let's look for funny. I don't know if, the, if that's a Google term or if that's just something that's using British slang. All right, okay, maybe not. Yeah. So, an image like this, <laughs> this is really scary. But this could like, this could actually do well. Like, if you were to test this image out in a native ad platform, um, you know, as long as it got approved, because it's not, you know, you're not. This does look a bit scary. I'm sure it's going to be fine. But this image could do really well. All right, because it provokes curiosity. And you know, people are like, what the hell, what is that? And they realize it's eggs. And they obviously, the what I've said before about the eggs resonating with people with diabetes and then the copy being about diabetes, this picture will attract a lot of attention because it's just like very strange, right? Who would even go through the process of making that? I don't know. But this is a good image. So I'm gonna save this one as well. So we have three images right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get six, maybe. Yeah, six or eight images. But I'm just showing you these are these are types of images that do very very well in for these type of offers. So if you're running diabetes offers on ClickBank, um, these are the sort of images you want to be looking for because they have that shock factor. All right, these images will not do well for like other health offers if that makes sense. So if you're promoting an offer that's focused around weight loss, um, this. You know, having an image like this will not do well because what does an egg mean for somebody who's tr just purely just trying to lose weight? Nothing. Whereas if somebody has diabetes, there's a lot of meaning behind the eggs, all right? There's a lot of power in the eggs. <laughs> all right, so we have that image. Let's see if we can find any more. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, that's crazy. I could do this all day, guys. This is like, it's what we do <laughs> on a Saturday. We just find images of eggs. <laughs> But these eggs, they, they turn into money, so that's the main thing. That's all that matters. All right, so mm, not really feeling any of these other images right now. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. These are don't don't do don't do anything like this. All right, don't put any like weird like that's not even weird. That just looks like it's word art and it's two thousand and three. That that's not gonna do well. But to be fair, you can test it, but you probably will waste your money. So. To save you money, don't do it. But let's have a look. Is there any more good ad images that we can find here? And I hope that you're following along with this process. And if you found better images than I have, 
drop that in the comments. Just say, Rich, this is what I search. Actually, maybe not say that, but just say, Rich, I managed to find better images than you and I've made X amount because of that. Just drop that in the comments. Like the video as well. All right. So this search term isn't bringing up any more good results. So I'm going to switch this up. Oh, what was that? I just saw. Okay. Nah, that's not good enough. We're doing some serious media buying, so the images need to be on point. Another type of image that does well is like symmetry. So if you can get like um, symmetrical eggs, <laughs> um, but the eggs are like mm, in, in an avocado or something like that. That's something I've seen before. Avocado, eggs. I can't really say symmetrical because nobody's going to upload saying this is a symmetrical egg. Um, actually, let me try it. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how smart Google is. Oh, Google's really smart. Okay, fair enough. I underestimated you, Google. My bad. However, the images are not that good. There's only like a few. And they're not really egg focused. They're like whole meal for That's okay, actually. This one could do okay. This image right here, cheat sheet. This image right here, you could test it. Just rotate the image, make it side by side, and I'd zoom in. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about when I put this all into Canva. So that's another type of image that does well. Um, let me look through some of my notes here. What other images could do well? Okay. Uh, uh, egg uh, holding, <laughs> holding bowl. Uh, boiled egg and if you think I'm crazy still remember when you go into like daily mail any any news or content site that gets a lot of traffic and you see those sponsored content and you see those weird images um, you know this is why this is the pro this is the process behind the scenes for you to see that okay and the reason why these images are strange is because they need to drive clicks away from the existing content all right they need to be more outstanding than what the person's already consuming which most likely is good content hence why that tra that website has a lot of traffic so um yeah so 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 what are we looking at right now dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that guy's funny but that's not good enough that is not good enough who would take a picture just holding an egg? That's just weird. Why did I click on it? My bad. Let me close that. And then this guy, he's holding an egg and he's topless. I guess that could be a good campaign if you're like doing like men's, specifically men's diabetes. I don't know. Maybe it's not a good idea. Anyway, let's keep having a look. Ah, this one is decent. Is that a face? Or is it just me seeing a face? Can you? Can anyone else see the face right here? That looks like a. Uh, that's like an eye. That's the mouth. I see a, maybe another eye. I don't think this is meant to be a face, but I saw a face straight away. But anyway, this is another image that you could use. I'm going to show you how you can use an image like this for your campaign. What you need to do, because an image like this, there's going to be things you probably want to do to make the image drive clicks. All right, and I'm going to show you a secret trick when I put everything into Canva. So I'm going to save this one because this is a juicy one. So I'm going to save that as well. Ooh, I'm going to save this one too. Okay. Perfect hard boiled eggs. People are serious about eggs. Wow. Didn't really know that it was, it was that much of a thing. But I guess people love their eggs. All right. People love eating eggs, man. Be fair, I love eating eggs, but not that much. Not that much, man. All right, all right. So we've got a few eggs here. Um, I've got another one, another style. And I'm just showing you the different types of images you can run for this particular subvertical of health, which is diabetes. Um, you know, you can go into more detail with each image. So if you see a type of image, maybe a guy holding an egg, you can find more variations. And what I would suggest that you do when you start off a new campaign is that you test out the different types, all right? And if you realize that the guy holding an egg um, is doing well and it's doing, it's, it's, you know, getting the most clicks and the, you know, the lowest CPC, etc., then what you do is you find more variations of that 
and you just keep testing and then you will drive that CPC down and you will increase that profit. That simple. And I explain that like it's very easy, but it is very easy if you do this a lot. So scrambled egg, oil, frying pan. Is that the right way of describing that? I feel like I, feel like I made that more difficult than it needed to be. Is this not searching anymore? What's going on? Why is this not searching? All right, all right, here we go. All right, people love eggs. The fact that there's so much stock photos of just eggs, it's just weird. I find that really, really weird. All right, that looks nasty, but it looks nasty enough for us to use as an ad. That, yeah, this has potential because it looks so nasty. However, the only thing that I don't like about this is that the contrast isn't that great, all right? So if there was more white, it will be more of a contrast so that people can see the image more clearly. So even though it's like real nasty, real, real, did I say nasty? Real nasty, I know nasty is like American, I'm not American. If it was real nasty, then, um, why am I saying real nasty? I can't remember what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, white, Eggs, if there's a better contrast, that will work better. This one, I'm not going to run with that. Um, but this will, this is much better. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see here, it's much more of a contrast. And you know, you, you should know by now the importance of contrast in your ad creatives. Um, let's see if we can find something even better. All right, I like this. This is, this is a, again, another image that could do well. Just because it's nasty, but there's good contrast as well. Um, yeah, so you can test this one out and let's have a look here. What is this? <laughs> I like this one as well. I like that contrast, very yellow egg yolks. I give that a six out of 10. Um, what about this one? Did I really click this one? I can't even remember anymore. I've seen so many eggs. But I'm not sure which egg is the egg I've already downloaded. Okay, I like this image as well. This stands out a lot. And you're gonna see how everything looks very soon. Okay, so I will say, yeah, this is fine. And there's obviously other types of images that you can grab, like more about the, the health side, um, but you can run with just eggs, right? This is a special sub-vertical within CPA where you can make millions upon millions of dollars by just finding egg images. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> so I've got some images now. Um, let me see if there's any other types I need to find for you guys. Nah, I think we're good. We spent around 20 minutes finding egg images. Hope I haven't wasted your time. If you've been watching it up to this point, then drop a comment that you know, you've know you watched it up to this point. Let me know. And make sure you like this video as well. But I appreciate you joining me on this journey finding eggs. But now let's do some serious stuff. So we have our images. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to, where is the eggs? Where is the eggs? Yeah, where did the eggs go? Diabetes. What the heck? Intro dash. Okay. Let's now we're on a journey to find the images. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I found all the images. Boom. All right, so most of these images, you can actually leave them as they are. However, there are some images here that you will need to make some slight changes to, just because from experience, they will need a bit of a boost for you to get the, a good CTR. But if they do well, they can do really well. All right, so just take a look. So I'm gonna put this image in, an image like this, beautiful. Leave it as it is, don't touch it. <laughs> leave this image alone. Okay, so we have the first image in here. Um, it all looks good. 
Uh, we don't need to do any additional things to the image. You can move things around a little bit, but besides that, it's fine. I think that is perfect like this. Um, and obviously, like I said before, different traffic networks will have different sizing, you know, because they have different placements and the way that they add to displays are slightly different. So it may look different on different with different traffic networks, uh, but that's all that's all good. It's fine. So let's add the, the rest of the image it is in here as well. We have a few to add. This egg one here. Let me just put that in like that. Drag that across a little bit. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I'd have it like that. And this is the one that I was, that was interesting because we can do something to this to make it a bit more spicy, so to speak. All right. So we are going to be adding an arrow to this image. All right, and if you use this image and you make money off this this image, let me know. All right, because I feel like an image like this has a lot of potential. Make that red. So now it's like somebody's holding the image up and uh, you know and it's like you know they want you to look at something because the arrow is pointing at something so people are going to be very curious it's a, it's a pattern disrupt right but you don't need to do that across all the, the different images just letting you know it's not something you need to, that's required for all these images these images can be very good just on their own and in fact if you do the pattern disrupts and these arrows in the wrong place at the wrong time it can affect your conversion rate really bad and that's obviously what you don't want so what I'm doing is I'm just zooming in because I'm making sure that the focus of the images are the eggs. I don't want to have too much blank space because it just doesn't have as high of an impact when you start running the actual campaigns. And trust me, I've tested it. So that's good. Oops, let me remove that. All right. <laughs> this funny one. Oh, I missed that one image, didn't I? Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I almost missed this one. How could I forget this one? <laughs> this is like a wild card image. And then, again, an image like this again, where somebody's holding up the eggs, I would add an arrow to it. All right? Let's have it like that. I want to have a thicker arrow, because arrow four may not be as visible. And make it red. Awesome. Yeah, we're almost done. Like, it's not that difficult as you can see. And you know these images were found on Google. I didn't even need to use a spy tool for the majority of these images. I think I only had one from a spy tool. Oh yeah, this one I want to rotate it right. So I want to rotate it this way maybe. Oh no, I've got to rotate it manually, right? How do I do that? Where is the rotating thing? Oh, there we go. That symmetry isn't that special to me. But we'll give it a go. Again, leave that image as it is. You don't need to add any arrows or anything to that. This is the same image. <laughs> okay, and again, this one is the one I got, I got from a spy tool. And you can just run this image just like that. And that's it. So let me put all of these side by side so you can all see. Here are the images that I've run for my campaign that's driving traffic to the diabetes offer that we've got inside of Clipbank. So this how key diabetes. So these are the ad images that I would run for this campaign and make money off this. All right, so it's that simple. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you drop something in the comments below to let me know what video you like next. And, you know, let me know your results as well. If you're running ClickBank campaigns as well right now, you know, let us know your results. Let us know how things are going. I don't know going. what will happen next. Whoops. Let's pause that. And anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.